Welcome uh, to another episode of St. Vincent Untold Stories. On this episode, we give you uh, the recent update on the loss of a volcano in St. Vincent. And we have a clip uh, to show you how the volcano looks uh, now. And uh, we have many more. Big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like uh, button, uh, the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon if you wish to see more videos like uh, this one. A lead scientist, uh, Zachta Lynch, is saying uh, that they think uh, that the volcanic eruptions are over. Uh, but he's saying, uh, just as we are saying, you need to be careful. You have to be on your P's and Q's, uh, sleep with one eye open, uh, because it is still steaming. And uh, nature is very unpredictable. And you saw that in a previous episode that I posted, shot left of the volcanic eruption when there was a flooding. Uh, you see? Uh, the men in some village you. over the river, uh, they stayed uh, during the volcanic eruption and uh, they survived. But what they did not know is that Allah has war coming shortly after. Water sped uh, through their houses. Uh, the scientist is saying uh, the guys who are operating uh, the heavy equipments uh, that are doing the cleaning uh, need radios. You see what I told you? There are things that you don't uh, know about Lava Man uh, that Untold Stories knows. Lava Man team is well prepared. Uh, those guys have radios, walkie talkies. Uh, something again, uh, these guys don't understand why the ash have to be cleaned uh, properly. It's not only asthma, uh, but sometimes, you know, when there is too much uh, dusk or dirt, it scrawls uh, your epidermis. As some might say, it uh, trembles the blood. I uh, like how uh, Mr. Daniel is taking his time and asking uh, the scientists some proper questions. He's not trying to force uh, things on the scientists, like try to make offers, uh, telling him about sweet pudding and all those things. Uh, remember I told you uh, right now, uh, because it's the hurricane season and uh, plenty of rain is coming, so up by the volcano have a lot of fog and the visibility up at the volcano is very poor. As I told you before, they are listening to untold stories. And Mr. Lynch addressed the issue. Uh, they said uh, that it is not a totally blind situation in which they don't uh, know what is going on. Uh, they have some sensors uh, that can still pick up activities. Uh, but the main one which we are accustomed uh, to speak about is not put in place as yet. Uh, did you guys at uh, Nemo uh, take all the van men numbers? Uh, provide them with walkie-talkies. Just in case uh, the last of a volcano erupts again, so you can evacuate uh, the people in a better and a more professional manner uh, this time around. Uh, Le human admits uh, to putting his hand on his girlfriend. Uh, the young lady is also making a young one, uh, so you could only imagine how that was. Allegations are. Uh, uh, that the bad man went on a little mission and he came home and believed, say, yo, look, uh, right, you know, I'm uh, going do some hard work and I want uh, something. He also accused her of going with other man and uh, that uh, made the bad man vex. So she tell him, keep him unto himself. As the bad man said, who are you talking to, so girl? In my place. I disrespect him. Uh, plus, uh, the nosy neighbors are hearing you. Uh, plush eye. Plush eye. Plush eye again. The girl ball out. And you know how Vinci woman is still ready. Uh, them na left them out in a them mama. So them go talk back. As the girl talk back. Blood eye. Blood eye again. Uh, the allegations are. Uh, uh, that is holy. Uh, the bad man rests on him and pan the girl. Uh, broomstick and machete. Uh, you remember uh, back when uh, the ghetto was the real ghettos. Uh, when teachers uh, used to beat for tables. And if you don't uh, get the tables right. It's whole day you getting spanking. And uh, till you learn those tables. Uh, the girl uh, told him uh, that she was going uh, to the station. And the bad man all up on her clothes. Uh, so uh, she went and uh, made a report. And the man was taken up. Uh, so he went to court. And he admitted his wrong. 
He told the magistrate uh, that he tried to change his ways. He began uh, to take his girlfriend to church uh, because the allegations were uh, that he did do some small time already for some small burglary thing. No? But he, he advanced himself and started to move different. Uh, but he started to say it had to be the devil uh, put hands on him. In a situation like that, he could have just walked away. Uh, too many times we are seeing uh, big full-grown men uh, putting their hands on women. Uh, the magistrate should have provided uh, the young fella with some counseling. Uh, there is an old saying which says, If you think uh, that education is expensive, uh, try ignorance. Uh, there are a lot of full-grown men uh, doing what uh, the young man did. Uh, but they come on social media and they try to give this impression as if they are so kind and so nice. Which while they are putting their hands on women as well. Enough time. We enough a boy. You brag off our road. How them have homo girl and them a girl is a road and this. And when you hear the shout, uh, they putting their hands on women. If you are so much a one girl is, how come you have to put your hand up on girl? You not get 10 outside and 20 outside you can go and meet. Uh, why do we say uh, things like uh, my worship in the magisterial court? And I don't uh, mean to say it in any way that it, it would offend anyone. Uh, but isn't uh, that the name for the master above? Isn't he alone that we should call that? Uh, so let uh, me say this. Uh, your honor, isn't uh, there a system set up in which the guys in the prison system uh, can be rehabilitated the right way? Uh, because as with uh, the guy from Leu who placed his hands on that girl and gave a confession, we are seeing uh, that he can change. Uh, so it needs a system in which he can get some counseling so he can go back into society as a better individual. Uh, you have to make sure uh, that uh, they don't uh, do it again. Look, for instance, we just saw something in Grenada of a video circulating on social media. In which a lady went to Dovecat uh, because of an altercation with her and her ex-boyfriend. Uh, Mr. Big Man, we need a press conference uh, stating uh, the solutions uh, to get rid of this extreme poverty uh, that we are currently under right now. At uh, the start of this video, I should have said welcome to Korea instead of welcome to St. Vincent and told stories. Uh, remember I told you uh, they want you to always come into their offices and uh, beg. The ads that they are banning from Google, you know, uh, those are educational ads uh, showing the kids how to make uh, money, how to be self-independent, how to become young entrepreneurs. Uh, so... Uh, just like how Storm uh, can use a Bitcoin, uh, don't uh, the rest of St. Vincent want to see how to use Bitcoins too? Uh, you have seen and you have heard uh, the story of uh, Mark Zuckerberg creating an app called Facebook. Uh, but uh, they have a system set up in St. Vincent uh, that if you try uh, to access uh, the Facebook network uh, from certain schools, it is blocked uh, from the students. I don't know why they are doing this. Isn't there educational things on Facebook as well? Can't the kids see how Mark Zuckerberg made it? They want to become creators and inventors, uh, but uh, this regime is stopping them from doing so. Uh, now, uh, there is a situation in St. Vincent uh, because of the big C. Uh, the students have to do online classes. A lot of uh, these students and their parents are saying that they don't even know how to do this online class thing. Uh, when it comes to technology, uh, St. Vincent is last in the class. And now you have these guys at the top uh, that is trying to block you uh, from educating yourself uh, the right way. Uh, what are you worried about? Uh, the get rid of them ads uh, that the people are posting. Uh, that has nothing to do with your concern if you are doing the right thing. Uh, we as a nation, we have to ask ourselves uh, something. If we do not get uh, those volcano relief uh, monies, where would St. Vincent uh, be right uh, now? Uh, workers who are now getting uh, paid, would you have gotten uh, paid uh, last month or the month uh, before? As uh, patriotic Vincentians, 
We do love Saint Vincent, uh, but we cannot stay under extreme poverty with these guys, you know. Uh, the country is stagnant under extreme poverty and no type of solution whatsoever to get us out. Uh, the unemployment rate is so high. Uh, the other countries were saying uh, they would take in uh, some evacuees uh, before the big man uh, be so glad uh, that those persons could go out there and uh, make progress and uh, send back money to St. Vincent and uh, advance their skills and come home back and train the youths. He's trying to tell them, oh, uh, the eruption is over, so come home now. Uh, so my question is, uh, boss man, when they come home, uh, do you have employment waiting for them? Uh, 20 plus years in power and you cannot see uh, that that was an opportunity. Uh, the reason why uh, they can't uh, see that is that uh, they only care about their votes. Uh, the next thing about it again, uh, the big man is acting like he is spending money while the people are over there. Uno low out the people, them, let them go and make life because in St. Vincent, you all are blocking them from opportunities. Uh, with uh, that uh, being said, I just want to big up uh, the entire population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are supporting and uh, praying for us uh, during uh, these difficult uh, times. We thank you. I'm out. <laughs>